So before we go any further, let's make sure those knob defaults that we created are safely stored on disk. And we'll do this by bringing back the knob default commands using the arrow buttons up here. And then using the save button in the middle here, we'll go to our home directory and go into the .nuke directory. If you don't see it, just type .nuke into the uh, command prompt at the bottom. And in there, we will create a file called menu. It'll get the extension .py because it's a Python file, and that will be a file that will automatically be read when nuke starts in interface mode. So all those commands you've created now will automatically be executed once nuke starts in UI mode. So let's save that and quit out of nuke to see if it works. Let's check the Bezier. The Bezier is drawing into the alpha channel and the exposure tool comes up set to adjustments in stops and it has the little TCL expression in the label. So that works great. So back to the script editor we'll have a look at another useful Python command and that's going to be the one that will add a custom format to your nuke script. So rather than having to go to the project settings and going through the new format dialog to define the new format you want to add every time you start nuke, you want to do this through Python, put it into, into your menu py and let nuke do that automatically every time you start it. So the command for that is nuke.add format, easy enough to remember. And this one takes a single argument, which again is going to be a string. And um, if you forget about what arguments a certain command needs or how it's supposed to work, simply use the command help and in parentheses put the actual command that you need information about. So executing this will print out a little bit of stuff about um, how this particular command is going to work. So this tells us that we need a single argument, that the argument is going to be a string, that we need width and height, optionally a bounding box and optionally a pixel aspect, and at the end we need a name. So we need width and height and name, the rest is optional and I'll ignore it for now and type nuke.add format. The width is, uh, let's say I want a 2000 by 1000 resolution and I want to call it lat long 2k because that's what I'm going to use for my spherical textures and uh, close quote and parentheses and execute this command and now we will find that new format in our drop down list here. In order to make this new format the default format for your nuke session every time it starts we can again use the nuke.norb default. However, this time we're not creating a knob default for a node, but for the root, which is kind of sort of a hidden knob, really. So in the upper left corner, you see that root with a capital R is the name of our project settings. So I'll type root.format. For the knob name, we want to assign a default value for. And uh, instead of just copying this whole format string again, I'm going to grab that and put it into a new variable called um, I'll just call it lat long and paste that in here. So now I can replace the occurrence of that format with the word lat long anywhere in my script, like so. And uh, executing this will probably not do much. We already have the format and the root node already exists. So we got to force that to be recreated and we have to relaunch Nuke for that. So let's make sure we copy this and load the menu py. Make sure you don't override it. This is our menu py so far. And I'll just paste that at the bottom of it and then resave that out to disk. You might want to use your own text editor externally for st uh, such things, but for simplicity, I'm just going to do it right here. Once we've got all this in our menu py, we will quit Nuke and restart it check the project settings and you'll see we've got our new format assigned as the default full-size format for our project now.